uh, Cher is on our way out. Sportscaster Bob Costas is here. And, of course, uh, Dave Matthew, Matthews Band as well. So, <laughs> My first guest has had her own uh, TV show, has won an Oscar, has won Golden Globes. She's now hosting a tribute to Sonny Bono on CBS tomorrow night. It's called Sonny and Me. Cher remembers. Please welcome one, the only Cher. <laughs> Many women can do that. What? Well, I was just saying, are those like old the old, old original? Yeah. The fact that you can get in, look, and they're big on you. Those pants are like 25 years old. Well, yeah, they are. <laughs> well, that's great. They're older than some of my boyfriends, well, actually. There you go, there you go. <laughs> How you doing, kiddo? You okay with all this? It's oh, been a rough week. Yeah, it really has. I'll be so glad when tomorrow happens and the show is on. And, yeah. And uh, because I want everybody to watch it, and yet. Promoting it is so strange because it's not like a movie or a record album or anything else. It's so, it's very disconcerting, you know? I mean, it's like, I, I've been on everything in, in the universe, but it's because I want people to really watch it. But right. at the same time, it's horrible, you know? But it's something I wanted to do, and I'm really proud of it. It's really good, and so I want people to see it. I mean, it hits you pretty hard. I mean, it's not like someone is ill and you have a chance to sort of say things that you maybe didn't get a chance to say or do, all of a sudden you just get a phone call one day that this horrible thing has happened. Right? Yeah, I mean, it's just, it's, uh, I, I never had anybody really close to me die, and so it was very, well, I mean, I was really shocked, and, and you know, there, I don't have words for it. It's, the, it's not like it's a word kind of deal, yeah, you yeah. know? I, I mean, were, were you surprised yourself at how hard you took this? I don't know. You know, I don't know if I was surprised, you know, I, I'm not sure, you know, it's like, it doesn't, it's not, it's like, an, it was like an accident, you know, like, if you've been in an accident, it's like very fast and very slow at the same time, and you're not sure exactly what's happening, and that's kind of what it was. Because yeah. you guys had a lot of fun on that show. Yeah. You know? We were also married for 11 years. No, no, I know that, but I mean, the fun thing that I liked about the show um, was, well, like, I could tell, you know, just sort of being a comedy, you could tell what what the written jokes are, and when you guys were, like, having fun. Yes. I mean, just to give you an example, like, uh, I mean, some of the sketches, I'm, you know, everybody does, some, some sketches are funny, some are stupid, and you guys were funniest to me when you thought the sketch was stupid and you had fun with it. You know what yes. I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Like this one, we have a little thing here. I guess this is uh, Sonny as Superman. Superman, yes. Here, show, show a little clip here. This is, it's so silly. Take a look. It's so sunny. And that's the only thing that can affect me, Lois, is kryptonite. Nothing bothers the big S. <laughs> you get it? Huh? Huh? I always like the part where you guys talked. Yes. At the beginning of the show. Now, was a lot of that ad lib? It seemed to be. Well, yeah, when it was really good. And also, we used to have, like, we would start off with the scripted part, and right. then it would go off, because Sonny really never bothered to learn the, <laughs> the dialogue, the lines. He never ever studied his script. So that was kind of his, it was his way, you know? Yeah, that was his yeah. thing. And so that's, we kind of just, we kind of went off on our own little tangent. Because here's a little piece of tape. I thought this was funny, because I could tell this is not in the show. This is what always made the show so special. You could see when you guys were just being silly or revealing something. Well, here, take a look. Here's another example. Here, you guys, we're talking about something else. Don't rub my nose. <laughs> Why? You always liked me to rub your nose. <laughs> you know, when we'd come home at night and we'd get in bed alone, you used to say, Sonny, I'd say, what? Say, rub my nose. Did you like having your nose rubbed? I'm just no, curious. No, he was just being stupid. <laughs> I never said, Sonny, rub my nose. <laughs> well, I think that... You can't tell with him. It's, you know... Well, that's what I mean. I'm trying to figure out, is that really a turn-on, have your nose? <laughs> I'm just trying to think of what the... Uh... No. 
Now, what is this? What was this whole thing with the the psychic? Because I know people like to make jokes and make yeah. fun. I mean, but I think you know you do reach out when you're in a. Well, you know what? My situation. mother had sent me this book. Mm -hmm. But of course, I didn't read it because you never want to read anything your mother tells you to read. <laughs> and so I just blew her off and, and didn't read the book. And, and then, and my mom was telling me about this man, James von Prague. And so I thought, you know, what do I have to lose? I don't yeah. really have anything to lose. And so, you know, and as I said to him, I said, you know, I, I don't know if I believe this or not, but I, I would really like to do it. You know, at the worst, it, it could be an interesting experience. And if not, yeah. it would be, you know, some time wasted. And, and so he did tell me things that, you know, someone said, well, maybe he's just reading your mind. And I said, well, if he's just reading my mind, that's still pretty good, you know. <laughs> but he told me things that, that I that nobody could have known. And I don't really? know how that happened, but it just it just did, you know? I don't know that it changed my life, but it, it just did, it did stop me for a moment. I mean, can you reveal one of the things that maybe he said? Is there, is but, there oh yeah, no, I mean, there, there were lots of things that were personal, but one thing he said was, what about the earrings you were looking at last night? And in, in my room by myself, actually in my closet, I was sitting on the floor looking at these gold earrings that Sonny had given me. So, you know, I, that is kind of a, an interesting yeah. thing and kind of a strange thing. And, and uh, so it, there were some things like that. There were some things that were much more personal. But, you know, I, I, you know we used to think the world was flat. I don't know. I mean, I, I know I don't know enough about things that are going on in the universe. Right. So I don't believe it. And but I if it's a comfort to it. you. Yeah. Right, exactly. I mean, if some, why not try it? If it works, it works. Yeah. And if you get some comfort out of it, that's great. Yeah. Well, we'll take a little break. We'll talk some more. Okay. More we'll share right after you. Bono and the big special tomorrow night. Have family and friends all, all seen this? Have, yeah, we. I had a screening the other day. We we got a um, star on Hollywood Boulevard, and so everybody came back to my house afterwards, and Mary and the kids and my kids and Christy, and everybody saw it as friends and all that. Was that your first star on Hollywood Boulevard? Uh-huh. Really? I, I would have thought at any point after the Oscar, the Sonny and Cher show. Well, I, I could have two others. I'm, I, I've been accepted for two others, right. but I just... I don't know. I just didn't think to do it. Well, I mean, because so you walk down and you're like, who's that guy? I never heard of that guy. And then you think, like, I just assumed your name was, was already No, they there. have a thing where you, you are put up for, you know, you are nominated, right. and then, you, then you're either accepted or you're rejected, and um, then you have to wait, I guess, a certain amount of time. Oh, okay. Now, how about, uh, how, how about uh, Sonny's widow, Mary? Mary, Mary? Yeah. Has she Did she like it? Did yeah, she see it? Yeah, she loved it. She thought it yeah. was great. It's, we have a very strange relationship, you know? I mean, we're related by marriage, you know? So it's a very strange kind of thing, and... and but are you related? You're not really Well, related. no, but I mean, we are kind of, you know? Uh, and so, but we actually get along well, you know? I think I like her, and even though she's a Republican, I really like her. Yeah. And... <laughs> and, uh... Was that odd for you when Sonny became a Republican? Did you just seem like, what? Like, which, what happened? Where did you go, you know? Because, you know, Sonny was at the Democratic Convention with the Chicago 7 thing. He got a, pla a plank in the, in the platform there. Yeah. And, and he always believed in politics, but I would have never guessed that he'd... Be a congressman. Go, no, be a Republican. <laughs> but opposites attract. Isn't that, isn't that the way, though? I mean, it's, it's just so funny how... Just how life is that way. No, I... it's not funny. <laughs> I was at his house once, and there was like a picture with him with Dan Quayle, and I just thought, we have to do an intervention here or something. I don't know. <laughs> That's very funny. But you know, I think uh, I respect one thing about Mary, and I, I know it's really hard that you know she's been married to him for a long, long time, and yet, in everyone's mind, people are coming up and, you know, and, and telling me how sorry they feel, which is, you know, I appreciate that, but I know that it's hard for Mary because I'm the one that people really think about instead of, you know, they, they, yeah. they, they always just think of Sonny and Cher, so 
I think that she's had to put up with a lot, and I, and I think that she's done a really good job, and it hasn't kept her from liking me in right, spite of it. Right. Well, that's great that you guys could be friends. Tell me about looking through all these tapes. Had you seen the shows over the years, or did you, was it to go through them? Did you go, oh, I no, remember that? it's so strange because I'd be watching, I'd be watching them, and I, and I would forget why I was watching them. And I and I would and I would and I'd go. Oh my God! I haven't seen that in so long, or I never saw it. There's stuff in here I've never seen. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there are there are tapes and things that I didn't even know existed. People have pictures that I don't have. Yeah. And and tapes, you know, movies and and things that I didn't even know that were being taken. So it was great. And and when I'm doing it, you know, when I'm looking at it, you know, it seems really wonderful, and it is wonderful, and it's hard to separate that it's really wonderful, but it's really terrible, the reason that, that I'm having to do it. But it's important. I mean, this is a legacy, and nobody can do it but me. And so I have to make the decision, or I had to make the decision, whether I do it and really commit to it, or I let it go by. And I just am not about to let it go by. And I don't care about, like, horrible things like Marilyn Beck said and about me in, in her newspaper. And, I mean, she's a bitch. I don't care. <laughs> but does it still bother you? That, I mean... I mean, people are going to say things. Is that things. awful? Well, Is that no, terrible? No, 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 but I mean, people will say things. No, what she said was I was using it to get publicity. Like, I can't get publicity. It's been one of my problems my whole life, you know? It's like too much publicity. So, I mean, I, I know why I did this, and, and I don't really care what some people think. Yeah. Well, I don't like to see it if it hurts your feelings, you know? I mean... Well, it does, but, yeah. you know... but. That's my life. This is, you know, you kind of, you paint a big target on your ass and then you stick it out there. I couldn't have said it more eloquently myself. Well, listen, the show is on tomorrow night. It's called, what time is it tomorrow night? It's on 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock on CBS. Yes. I know you got to run. Hey, buddy. Good job. Thanks, Sharon. Be right back with Bob Costas right after this.